Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. We saw a camp chair a while back in a store. It was a couple of A-frames. You took it to camp, you could slide it together. And we thought, heck, we can make that with some lashings. So today we're gonna give it a try. And because it's winter time and there's not accessible deadfall, we thought we'll just go down to Home Depot. So we're gonna start with this. We'll just lash it into an A-frame and put a little crossbar across the bottom and then lash it together and see how it works. So here we go. Let's just start with a clove hitch, which you can do on the end just by doing some twists. Get your X there together and tighten that end up a little bit. And then because we've got just two poles, we're gonna put on our wraps. So we like to do six wraps and then at least three fraps. So I'll just go around, line up nicely. And then we're gonna go down the center as we split that open and start our fraps. You want these nice and tight. This is gonna end up like this. So at least three fraps around. We really wanna cinch these nice and tight. Then we're gonna end up again on the top just with another clove hitch. So throw that there, there. Got a little bit on the end. We'll just wrap that around. And there you go. So we've got a nice little lash in here at the top. Now we're gonna put cross pieces on the bottom. One's gonna be on the front side, the other's on the back side. Let's see how we do there. So we'll just lay this one here. We're gonna put a couple of square lashings here, maybe a diagonal lashing and uh, see if we can get it nice and tight. We'll start again with the clove hitch. Tighten that up nice and tight. Then we'll start our lashing. I'm gonna do a diagonal here. So I'm gonna go across, go three each direction. Two, three. Well, I'm gonna change directions and go across here. Just tie that one down a little bit. Two. Three. So three wraps going each direction. Now we're gonna do fraps try and cinch that together. And this is where it's really important to get it nice and tight. So each time you go around, pull it tight. And that's what locks it in. And like I say, we got these from Home Depot, so they're gonna be smooth and you have some chance for it to slide a little bit, which you're not gonna get if you're using a, a branch, the bark's gonna grab it a little bit better. So there we go, we'll just finish it off with a clove hitch here at the bottom. And cinch that up tight. There we go, let's do the other side. Same process here. Start with our clove hitch. Make your little X, goes up through there. And we're gonna go three each, each direction.
keep those nice and tight. Change directions here. Two. Okay, there's three wraps on each direction. Now we're gonna go three fraps around. Nice and tight. One. Two. Three. And we're just gonna tie it off at the bottom here. Another clove hitch. cold fingers there but there we go pull it tight there we go that's the start of our a-frame now we're going to add another brace to the back side so as we put the other one through it'll hold on the top and the bottom okay let's add a brace to the other side so that our lower a-frame has something to brace against so let's start with the clove hitch Make a little X there. Reach up underneath. There we go. Now we'll do three wraps in each direction. One. Two. Three. Now we're gonna change directions. Oops, okay to tuck that one in. So you go one, two, three. So we've got three wraps each direction. Now we're gonna go three fraps going around and locking it in. One, two, three, nice and tight. Then we'll just do a, in fact, I might go four because I've got a little bit of extra line here. And then we'll tie the final knot right here. Finish it up with a clove hitch. There's your X, so we'll go up underneath it. Lock it in. Okay, we're set to go. One more on this side, and we're ready to go on to the next A-frame. In fact, I'm gonna flip it over, and we'll do it from this side. Might be a little bit easier. There's our start. Okay, on the diagonal. One, two, three, nice and tight. Change direction. One, two, there's three, nice and tight. And now we're gonna do some fraps. One, cinch that up good. Two, three. And we're gonna give another one just because I have some extra rope here. We'll finish up on top with our clove hitch. Tie that down good. Oops. There we go. All right, we're ready to go with the second A-frame. So this is the upright portion of our chair. We'll set that aside 
and we'll make the seat portion that's going to slide through there. Here we go. Don't try this at home, we're trained professionals. But do try this at home. <laughs> That's why we're making this video for you. Okay, so same process. We're gonna start here with a clove hitch on the top. Slide a little down and then we're just gonna lay these together. We're gonna go six or eight or more if you've got more rope. So we can just put six or eight, that's what they recommend. But you know, if you've got a little bit more rope, that's okay, you can add some more. Just make sure they're laying down there side by side nicely. And slide this up just a little bit. There we go. So there's our wraps. Now let's get in some fraps. Gonna start through. And we're gonna go around. Here's where you really cinch it up tight, make it strong. At least three fraps in there. I'm gonna go one more because we've got some line. And then we'll just finish it up on the top here with another clove hitch. Easily done. Looks nice, it looks clean. and we know it's gonna work. Now that that lashing's done, we're gonna go ahead and start on the seat portion of the chair. So we cut some smaller dowels to lay out on there. I'm gonna show you how, I guess it's my idea of lashing them all together. So we'll just lay them out there. And I'm gonna start with one. I'm going to get the lashing going and then we're gonna tie them all together. We'll do one side. We'll do some fraps and some wraps and tie that off, and then we'll go to the other side. Let's see how it works. Okay, we're gonna start the process. We're gonna start on the top and work our way down. So just begin with a clove hitch like the rest of them that we've done today. And what I wanna do is make sure that this is locked on and then this is, so I'm going to go underneath, over the top, oops, I'm gonna to go over the top here, and then underneath, and lock my next one down. Same process. And we'll just continue on, get the next one laid out here. Lock that one down. Lock it down. Lock that together. Lock that together. And our final one. Okay, so we've got it basically started. Now what we want to do is lock them all together. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and frap it right here. Top and the bottom, I'm gonna go around this direction and underneath all of them and create my fraps here. 
We've got one locked down. Going to get a couple of fraps and we'll be able to slide these in and out a little bit. But basically we're making sure that they're not going to move a lot. And we're going to be sitting on them so they're not going to be sliding back and forth. And we'll just finish that off with a clove hitch at the bottom. There we go. One side is done. We'll slide these a little bit. Come to the other side and do the same thing. Okay, you can see by the length of our dowels here that I didn't do a really good job of measuring so they're not precisely the same length, but that's what's gonna happen when you're just cutting some branches and getting them ready when you're out camping, making your own chair. So start there with a clove hitch. We're gonna go over, gonna pop this back up through. Lock the next one down. Make sure I'm under my A-frame. Come across, lock this one down. Underneath. Try and keep it a little bit tight and let the frap do the rest. Get down in there. There we go. Couple more to go here. Down. Okay, so we've got them all locked in. Now we're going to create some fraps. Oops. Looks like I've just left myself enough rope for one, but that's going to be okay because these don't worry, we're just gonna have pressure downward here. They're not gonna slide a lot. So we'll go ahead and finish this off with our clove hitch and we'll be done. Okay, looks like we're done. Let's try and slide these things together and see how it turned out. As you can see, you want just enough room to get that in, slide it down. And there you go. Wow, this is surprisingly nice and not too hard to make. I think you guys can do it at camp. I hope you'll try it and I hope you'll join us again at OSME TV.